Hey everybody, it's uh, Joseph Anderson. I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm actually a service technician. I've been a service technician for 13 years. I'm actually going to go over a few things. Um, I'm actually looking at a uh, five-ton uh, package heat pump unit. So let me show you what it looks like. Oh, okay, here's the five five-ton uh, heat pump package unit. It's uh, mainly commercial. Um, on here, I'm just taking a quick tour around it so you can actually see everything. First of all, that coil there is your outdoor coil. Actually reject all the heat that's inside your building. Um, up here, right there is your condenser fan motor. Um, it actually rejects the heat, pushes it out of the air, um, takes it out of pretty much out of the room. Um, once I open this up, I will videotape actually what it looks like in the inside. So just hang on to one minute. All right, I have it actually opened up now. I'm um, just going to show you a few of the components that are major to this unit. There here, that's a uh, compressor, a scroll compressor. And there you'll see your uh, reversing valve. That back there is your line dryer that actually, when the refrigerant's filtering through that actually filters your refrigerant so you don't get a bunch of stuff going back to your compressor um, up there's your let's see if you can see it right there's your TXV it meters your refrigerant so if it's lower higher it actually adds refrigerant to the system um, you know adds more pressure less pressure just depends on what the unit needs um, up there that is your condenser fan motor. Above that, above that blade is a motor um, that actually turns, and that's what actually rejects the heat from your home or your from the business or you know suite or wherever. Um, back here, show you this. This is your indoor blower. Indoor blower. It's actually a direct drive, so there's no belt, nothing on it, so it's just a direct drive. Um, in that component, in that box, um, and this one right next to it is actually your filters. That actually, this is your indoor coil. If you remove these filters, that's actually your indoor coil. That's actually where all your cooling comes from. Um, so you actually have to have something that actually. Uh, covers those up because you don't want a bunch of dirt or dust or anything um, blocking and um, starving the unit from air so you always got to make sure your filters are changed let's put this thing back all right so that's good and here is your uh, your return this on this box here would be your supply back here supply this actually supplies the air to the building so it comes across here this coil will get 40 degrees um, so once the air comes across it your warmer air comes across it, it actually cools the air brings it down and cools the space um, that's what actually what this compressor does it actually you know moves it just like a pump moves your refrigerant in one way um, that reversing valve is actually works this unit can actually work in heating or cooling so what happens in in cooling it goes one way and when the reversing valve is um, energized then it actually opens up the valve and makes the refrigerant go the opposite direction for heating so then your what I'm trying to say is your condenser turns into your evaporator and your evaporator turns into your condenser so um, makes any sense um, just basic stuff um, just a quick walk around so you can actually have a nice look of everything it's actually a newer newer unit it's a rude unit commercial series see um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and test this unit so you can actually see everything um, just give me a moment to do that all right so we're back now um, what I did is is your green is your fan your yellow is your com is your compressor is your cooling and red is your 24 volts so what you want to do is if you can't get to the suite let's say you're up on the roof and you just want to test it you can actually jump out 
just with a jumper like these little alligator clips you can get from um, you know electronic places um, like fries or something like that um, but what you do is you clip it onto your um, fan um, the fan has to have your 24 volts that's calling for it so you have to hook it up either you have to hook it up to your red but on this case I have it hooked up so then it'll actually call in the cooling because so I have my my fan is green my power is 24 and my yellow is cooling so I have the cooling and the power um, jumped in together and my fan so then all three of them will, will actually be the the 24 volts act, activate your cooling and your fan your indoor blower um, what you want to do is uh, test it um, this is a uh, 410a unit uh, refrigerant so um, just to look at the gauges um, right now it's just settled it's actually on a time delay because um, it you know uh, units like this they don't actually like to short cycle you know like turning them on and off on and off on and off so when this thing goes um, perfect pressures for 410a would be um, let's twist this thing around would be a hundred over 300 that's perfect I mean that's just you know filters are clean fans are running good no no blockage at all the duct work is fine your return is big enough small enough whatever the case is um, but it's never that way so <clears throat> right now I'm thinking with this weather it's about about 80 degrees outside so we'll probably be around maybe one 110 115 over maybe 350 I'm thinking you know around there I don't know how the duct work is ran and stuff like that and um, I don't know how old the fans are on this one so see it's actually running now and cooling so we'll see see what the pressures are gonna be I mean they might be a little high because I actually have this cabinet open where the compressor and the fan is so um, normally you don't let that thing open up too much so right now we're at like 125 over 350 it's actually not bad um, for having this door open but if I put this door back on, this. Okay, so I have the door back on. Let's see if our pressures drop any. Now that see, now we're our head pressure. The red is head pressure is the high side. It's a little, a little over 300. Suction, suction's a little high, uh, but that actually drop. If you notice, it's starting to drop now. Uh, so this side. This side here is your suction. That's your low side. This side here is your high side. So remember red, high side, blue, low side. So your suction, your suction, suction, discharge. Um, so right now it's actually dropping. It's looking not too bad. Um, so what's going to be running in this op op operation is your indoor blower will be running. It's in this cabinet here. If you notice the little, like watch for your hands being crushed and actually put on there direct drive. DD means direct drive. So that's the the closet that actually the fan sits in here. And then next to it is actually the filter. Um, like I showed you before, this is where the compressor sits. This here is your condenser fan or your condenser coils. And up on top, you notice it's spinning, that's a condenser fan. It's actually rejecting the heat that's in the room. Um, it actually gets sucked. The heat goes across these coils and right out of your fan. So it re, you know, rejects, rejects the heat. Um, so if you covered up these coils with a cardboard, a blanket, it would actually um, make the head pressure go so high that it would actually shut this thing off and thermal overload, like um, overheating pretty much. Uh, so far it's actually running not too bad pressures look pretty good if you notice not too not too shabby um, let me see if we have yeah normally too um, you can actually drill a hole in these um, to take your 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 supply and your return temps um, right now these ones don't have any 
holes in them. So, yeah, so we can actually take a supply. Um, also, too, if you look at this, just showing you a few little basic stuff. It's your, this is your suction side. Um, the, the pink is your 410A. That's the refrigerant we are. Yeah, your 410A is your pink. That's what we're using inside this unit right now. Um, right now, it's at little, like maybe 120. Yeah, 120. You notice 120. Um, but you see where the pink is, where it's like around the 40. That's actually your VAP temperature. That's your coil, your indoor coil temperature. Um, so that's what actually what the coil is getting at, and that's ideal. 40, 40 degree coil is perfect. It's actually what you're looking for, because by the time it goes across that coil, gets to the vents, and then to the room, it's more like 55, 54, you know, around there. Um, supply. So so far, um, it's actually running pretty good. Um, I just don't want to run it too much. Don't want to freeze the people out. Like I said, it's about 80 degrees and it's actually not calling. So see, there's your outdoor coil. It's just your basic commercial equipment. Here we go. Just a quick. There's your disconnect, so you can actually shut the power off while you're up here if you need to. Um, this line here is actually your condensation line. Um, whenever it builds. Um, moisture across your coil it goes down into it like a sump and then right down this drain and down and over and then to another drain um, that's so you know you have this drain so then it won't overfill and go down into the ductwork and flood the people's suite you know their offices and stuff um, normally too um, this was actually attached but it has a p-trap this is actually a p-trap so then you have air coming through here while the water's flowing so the air pushes the water and out it goes without it it'll just sit and won't move um here's a good example here's another one that's actually a little crooked but it actually is a p-trap if you notice it comes right out comes over here's your p-trap so the air pushes down as the water's flowing pushes right down so it doesn't stay there or get stuck there um so so far that's pretty much it on this one right here it was actually a service call um, you know they're saying the unit wasn't working correctly um, seems like it's working just fine just went ahead and tested it all seems like it's just working just fine I'm gonna let it run for a little while yep I mean and you put your hand over here you can actually feel the heat coming off of it so it is rejecting heat so um, so far so good I'll keep an eye on this a little longer and see how it does I just want to thank you guys for watching my video if you have any comments or questions go ahead and um, put them at the bottom of my screen and thanks again for watching bye now